Welcome, I'm Kaylee O'Donnell from the Technical Documentation Team at MSCM Add-ons. And today I'm going to walk you through how to automatically send a quote upon activation. To do this, we'll build an on-demand flow in Power Automate that executes a document's core pack quote template and then attaches the resulting quote document as an email attachment. Now let's get started. Okay, now I already have my Power Automate open. Now to start, I'm gonna go ahead and begin a new flow. I will use an automated cloud flow and for the name, we'll say send quote upon activation. So we can use this in the future. Ease. For the trigger, we're going to use the Microsoft Dataverse connector trigger, which is when a row is added, deleted, or modified. Here we are. Okay. And once that loads, we can begin with our first action. So now you see this is our first step of the flow. For the change type, we won't want to use when it is modified because we are modifying the quote from inactive to active. Table name, we are dealing with quotes. So I'll select quote right here. And for the scope, we'll allow it to be um, the organization for the scope. We can sometimes move a little slow. There we go. And then we're gonna actually access the advanced options before moving on to our next action. Um, I wanna to go to select columns and I'll add state code. The reason why I'm doing this piece is when state code equals one, that means that the quote is activated. So once we set state code equals one, um, this ensures that only quotes that are activated um, respond to this flow. So now we can navigate to our next step. From here, I will use the Microsoft, Microsoft Dataverse connector again. And from here, we will add a row, add a new row. For the table name, this is now generating the email content and the um, email that we're attaching the quote document to. So I will select email messages for our table name. There we go. And that is all we need to do for that step, very simple. So now we move on to our next. Now here's where we use the doc documents core pack um, connector. So I'm going to search for that here. And then we will be using the create document step, which is here. Make sure you use the synchronous version for this. Okay, and then for our template, I will want to execute our quote document template. I have a very easy one for us to use. Quote template, perfect. And then for the row ID, we use quote. So I will search for it and select here. And for the file type, we'll to keep it PDF. Very simple. Perfect. And I will be accessing the advanced options again for this step um, because we want to make sure that it is attached to the email. And I want to attach it to, we'll use our dynamic contact box on the email message. Here we go. Okay, so now we're kind of connecting the two. This is generating our quote document and then we're connecting it to that email message that we began building earlier. And now for our next step is where we further build the content of the email message. So I'm going to go back to our documents core pack connector and we're going to create another document for the email content. So I have an email content um, template we can use relating to quotes. So this loads, quote email body, perfect. This is what I'll be using. And then for the row ID, we select quote again. So I'll search for that here and select quote. But this time on this is important, you must choose the file type as HTML. That must be done for this piece. Okay, and then we move on to our final step, which is um, to actually send the email once the document and email content have been created. So I will now go to Documents Core Pack Connector again. And this time we'll select the um, send email option. Should be to the bottom, yes, right on. And for here, we need to define our sender and recipient. And I will do that now. E we'll email to send. That will be our email message, which we have attached the quote document to earlier. User, let it load. Usually we um, would choose system and system admin. I'll use my personal demo environment for now. Um, for the sender, we'll do the owner ID. There we go. And then the regarding row ID and table name, this is related to our quote. 
Um, so we will select quote here again for both. Perfect. And then for the recipient, I will want to send the, um, the quote document to the potential customer listed on our quote document. So I will search potential customer here and add. And that concludes the process of building the flow. As you can see, we have the five steps here, um, two with the Dataverse connector and then three with our Documents Core Pack connector. Now what I'm going to do is save this flow. I think save, and then we're going to test it and we'll run through activating a quote and make sure that this is working. So to do that, there's this test button in the upper right corner. I'll select this. And now once I perform the starting action, which is activating a quote, we can um, see if it is set as planned. So I'll move over to Art My Dyna Dynamics 365 environment, which I already have open for us. I'll navigate to quotes, since we're dealing with quote entity, of course. I will select an inactive quote. And then from here, I'll go ahead and hit activate, which is here. There we go. So now that this is activated, we should be able to see our quote run through the actions. And then we will see um, an email hopefully being sent to the customer. So now we can see that the flow is running through the actions. And sometimes a few steps take a little longer than others, depending on the steps involved. That is perfectly normal. And again, this can always take a second, but you just gotta sit tight. Perfect. And then as that finishes up, I'm going to move over to my inbox um, and see if this email is sent as planned from the consumer or potential customer's perspective. Here we go. Okay. We can see that the quote email was successfully sent. And let's check the quote document attached. Perfect. It is the correct potential customer contact under the quote that I activated. And everything looks as is. So this is a sample of um, what a finalized document could look like upon automated generation and sending. But yeah. Now that concludes my short demo of how to automatically send a quote upon activation. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching.